Catalina is fully flirting with Fox. <gasps> what is happening? What's up everybody, I'm Kelsey and I love color things. So we're back once again with another episode of the Not So Berry Challenge. If you noticed in the last couple of videos, my door's been open and also you might be hearing some like really lovely white noise in the background coming from my fan. That is because my air conditioning stopped working. It broke, it died. So for the next, I wanna say like week of videos, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, you're probably going to see the door open and hear my fan on just for circulation. So I don't like, you know, just be very hot in this room. But Everything's fine. I'm gonna get it fixed very soon, hopefully. I'm crossing my fingers that, you know, it's really temporary, but Chewie and I are trying to stay cool here. So apologies for the subpar quality of these videos. Anyway, last time we checked out our brand new home and we got to see our love day date with our briar. And it seems like Rose is kind of in a sad phase of her life. Like she doesn't seem to have liked the move. She's really missing the outdoors. Not that she really went outdoors so much when she lived in an apartment, but I think she liked the concept of it and missed having windows. So I feel like now she's going in the opposite direction where she's like, all I wanna do is be outdoors, which will set up her beautifully for having a well-maintained garden as an adult. And also it just feels like Briar's kind of thriving. Rose might be comparing herself a little bit and struggling, but of course Briar loves her to pieces. So this episode we're going to be having Rose keep trucking away at all of her hobbies that she loves and hopefully, you know, making some new friends or something. Uh, I saw some of you suggest maybe that she falls in love with a pen pal. I think that's super cute. I wanna see what characters you guys come up with and maybe one of them will be her pen pal that maybe she's talking to since she was like a teen and feels like she can really be herself with. We'll see, but I'm not gonna look to download those characters until she becomes a young adult. I kind of want them for her young adult phase of life. I think Briar might end up being Endgame with Johnny. So I don't want both of them to like have high school sweethearts. I think one of them having a high school sweetheart and then one of them being like the lovesick girl that like takes a little bit of time to find the love of her life. I wonder like who that might <laughs> remind you of. I don't know. <laughs> Is this laugh sad or funny? I can't. I can't. It's funny, guys. I'm fine. I'm just messing. I'm just teasing. I'm just joking around. Oh, well, now that I made it awkward, let's play the game. We're back in our beautiful home with our beautiful family who's living underground. We got our mortified Roseberry. I think she's just honestly mortified that maybe some people found out that she spent her love day with her dad. She's very embarrassed about it. And we got Briar, who's just pretty happy. She is afraid she maybe never will accomplish all the things she sets out to in life. But I think she's still gonna crush it. She wants to earn a hundred simoleons from gaming tournaments. So we're gonna work on that. What's going on with dad? He wants to make a new friend. Aw, be mean to Fatima and eat food. That's pretty funny. We're gonna chat, discuss latest video games. Oh, they're like having a tedious conversation. Oh, is it because she's mortified? Okay, why don't you go give yourself a little pep talk? It's okay, sweetie. It's okay, you're gonna be fine. Briar, why don't you have a bit of food and then she'll live stream today. She's chatting with her dad. Oh my God. Rose is like not vibing. She's so happy for her sister, but she's just not having a good time. So she's gonna go back to bed. It is 7 a.m. So she doesn't need to be up. She's feeling confident, which is great. I love that attitude for you, Briar. Having her little shower moment. And then we're gonna live stream. We're gonna live stream The Sims Infinite. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, I love it. That looks like OBS, which is what I used to stream. That's so cool. It feels very relatable. Got a little mic, her little camera, her console in our PC tower down here. Ooh, she's having to make out in a heart-shaped tub. I wish we had a heart-shaped tub still. That was a good time. Good times. I think her skills are going up. Yeah, her entrepreneur skill is getting closer to level two and her gaming is getting closer to level seven. So she's crushing. Oh, someone's calling Fox. Hey, Fox, I think I have a crush on Marcus Ham. <gasps> oh my gosh, at last. Our girl is moved on. She has a new crush. Yes, please go for it. Oh my gosh, we need to find out about this Marcus is ham. Briar gained nine new followers. Good job, Briar. She's feeling confident, but we didn't level up our entrepreneur skill at all, which is unfortunate. So we might have to stream even more. Oh, she's tired. She's gonna go to bed, I guess. All right, fair enough, girl. I was gonna have you like work on your entrepreneur skill still. Okay, Fox is having some food. I'm so curious about what happened with Auntie Violet. Like, I just need to know 
more. Oh God, and that broke. So we're going to fix that. Oh, and today's mail's been delivered. <gasps> I wonder if we got a postcard. Walk away, sir. Walk away. Although you're kind of a good looking guy. Got some good hair, but we're gonna have our girl go get the mail. Oh, someone's calling her. I heard he became friends with Donna Harris. You pickle. You're a little too little too late on that one, okay? Donna and I haven't spoken since I got over my crush on her, but I'm glad Aunt Violet called. She's checking up on us. Where's dad? There's dad. He's having a bagel. He's itching. Oh, wow. He looks like he got like some bug bites or like hives or something. Okay, we need to like buy him some medicine here. There we go. All right, thank you for ordering. Yeah, we're gonna put that out for dad. Our evil king is doing some evil laughter. He's like, yeah, they never will catch me. <laughs> I'm gonna keep evading them. Now he's feeling great and energized. He's combated his cold. Oh, I wish it was just that easy, huh? The girls are really sleeping in. Classic teens sleeping until 1 p.m. I can't remember the last time I slept till 1 p.m. I feel like I should just get them up. She's feeling sad because she had an awful holiday. She's like, ugh, my holiday with my dad was so boring and I hated it. I'm so sad. Like, girl. Did she collect everything from the mailbox? What did you get? What did you get? Oh, Bridgeport postcard. Yeah, baby. I don't know how many postcards there are, but we already have one, two, three. Pretty proud of it. And then we gotta maybe write a letter to Little Haven. And then we need to ask for a postcard from Little Haven. And then we need to find a new pen pal from a different location. Will it like tell me when I get all the postcards? I do not know. It makes sense though that she's super into having pen pals from different places because A, she doesn't like the place where she lives right now. And B, doesn't seem like she makes a lot of friends at school. Poor baby angel. She, I think she's just more introverted and kind of head in the clouds. Likes her fantasy life more than her real life kind of vibes. We don't blame you, sweetie. Once you have like a little more control over your life, I'm sure that you're going to build a dream life for yourself and you're gonna be super happy and have the cutest romance that we've ever seen. But until then, we're gonna be hanging out, taking photos, all that kind of jazz. All right, Briar, how are you doing? Briar is doing okay. She also has some needs. It's like 2.30. Of course, dad has walked in is chatting with us in our room. Okay, we're gonna find a pen pal. We post on the pen pal forums now to wait and see if anyone responds. Okay, perfect. You need some food and hygiene. And then, oh my God, it's Rom today. I forgot that today was Rom. Honestly, I don't know if Rose would wanna go. I feel like she's gonna say no. Oh, I feel like she's gonna be like, I don't really wanna go. I don't wanna go to prom, but they'll have prom probably next week too. So they can skip this prom for this week. You know, what would be cute is maybe if they went to this Finchwick fair. Oh, you know what? Because she's been feeling so down, it'd be cute if they took a vacation there and then she falls in love and was like, oh my gosh, I wanna go back there. So maybe they'll do that. But you have two things that you wanna do right now. You wanna level up your writing skill and finish writing a book. And we've been working on a book. I think it's a screenplay actually for a little while now because she thought that she could write a better screenplay than the one that she watched. So she's gonna finish out Tough Love. I think that's a perfect Saturday activity. And I cannot believe your sister's still asleep. She needs to wake up. Come on, girl, it's 4 p.m. You're like days and nights are gonna be swapped now. She's angry. Why are you angry? Theory of the trolls from a social bunny post. Who trolled you? Briar is mean to herself? Wait, Briar sent herself a mean message. She's mad about internet trolls, but the trolls are herself. Okay, why don't you send a little quick text to all your friends, to Johnny and maybe Sydney. She's not as close to Sydney as her sister is. That is beyond funny to me that she's mad about internet trolls and the person that is the troll is herself. Like. What? This is so wild. Oh wait, I forgot her photos. We need to put her photos up of like her and her boyfriend. Look at them. Oh, he's like hugging her. That's such a cute photo. We're gonna put that here actually on her desk so she can like look at him and her together. We're gonna add a frame. It's so cute. I love that photo of them together. Oh, Briar's coming in to chat. It's very sweet. Oh, she's got 72 streamer followers, but she's gonna stream again right now. She's streaming farming with friends and she's playing with Gavin, which I think is really cute. And Rose reached lighting level seven. Good job, Rose. Oh, and now she wants to publish three books. Well, someday you will, but not today. We're holding on on publishing things until we finish this right five good books for the best-selling offer. She reached level two. Promise, Starving. We're going to skip prom. They're both working on their hustles. I feel like Briar would go to prom, but she's just like busy streaming, but she can ask to hang out at the lot, even though her dad probably would hate it. Johnny, because dad's not home right now. He's at work. 
So she gained four new followers. Good job, queen. She's gonna invite Johnny to hang out and he's will be right over. Why don't you advertise your video game stuff online? Hopefully Johnny will be here very soon. Amazing, he's here. Oh, he's so cute. All right, let's go compliment his appearance. He's coming on in. We're like, come on in, Johnny. It's all good. So they're all hanging out. Maybe Johnny and her can sit and chat there together. Although you might want to change your outfit to maybe her hot weather look. Girl, did you finish your book? Oh, she looks like she got the same thing her dad had. Okay, we need to get medicine for this before we give it to Johnny. He's showing her like weird TikToks and stuff. Oh my gosh, Rose finished writing an entire book. Good job, Rose. Okay, we've done three of five books. Amazing. And let's write maybe one more. We could write a genre book. Fantasy. <gasps> a fantasy novel? Of course we want to write a fantasy book. That sounds amazing. The fantasy book will be called Court of Love and Liars. Ooh, so perfect. So she's having fun. Briar, I thought I asked you to change your outfit and drink some medicine. You need to change your outfit into your hot weather. I haven't seen it yet. I think you'll be more comfy in that anyway. Talk about Strangerville. I feel like she'd be like, oh my gosh, have you seen how weird this place is? Oh, you should really take out the secret lab. Oh, doing things are going on there. You should be able to sneak in through the back gate. That does sound like a teen thing to do is to sneak into the secret lab and check out what's going on there. Maybe they will do that. I don't think we'll do the whole Stranger Things plotline, but it could be fun for the kids to sneak into a room. Rose is hard at work writing her novels. That's so cute. She's doing her homework on a Saturday with her boyfriend over and they're just flirting with each other. I love them so much. They just look so comfortable together. I feel like they 100% feel like end game. All right, it's 11. I think Rose, maybe you should get off the computer. You've been just typing away all day. You need to grab some food. Rose will like join the conversation. Maybe she'll ask him advice on like a social bunny post and tell him the outrageous story about how people keep online bullying her. They're having like a good combo. Briar's finished her homework. Briar might suggest maybe playing games and Rose and Johnny were having like a nice little conversation. I think she likes Johnny. Oh, Johnny's heading out. Okay, maybe you can join the game of Sims Racing Rose. You haven't played video games with your sister before. They need some quality sister time. Oh my God, Johnny left just as dad was arriving back home. I wonder if he saw Johnny at all. No, it looks like he has it. Oh my gosh, so he doesn't know that Johnny came over. But he made some good money. He's doing well in his career. He's quite tired, so he might just go to bed. There he goes. He's gonna go to bed. He's like, oh, the girls are good. They're safe and they're playing games together. They're getting along. I wanna see how much Rose gaming level she has. She's level one of gaming. So obviously Briar is gonna beat the crap out of her because Briar is almost level seven now. Briar can now watch a gaming live stream on a computer and gossip with other Sims about video gaming pros. That's cool. And I think it's like 1 a.m., which sounds 100% like the time that a streamer would stream. So she's gonna advertise her stream, do some work in there. Rose, honestly, it's like 1 a.m. I think you should just go to bed. First loser, at least Briar didn't come in last. Oh, it looks like maybe she went easy on Rose and let her win. That is cute. I'm honestly just like spamming her advertising everywhere and it's kind of working. So hopefully we'll get to level three pretty soon. Also, she gets more followers this way. So probably a good thing. Oh my gosh, we're so close. Yeah, we're now skill level three of entrepreneur. So that's great. I'm gonna have her hit the bathroom and then go to bed. She's feeling really confident. Oh, she's got a new thing with Johnny. Resentful for no prom invite. Oh, she was kind of mad that he didn't ask her to prom. I think that's silly because I think she decided not to go to prom out of solidarity with her sister, but maybe she kind of wished that Johnny would have mentioned it at least. But I don't think Johnny went to prom last time. I think he just went to the prom after party. So it doesn't seem like it's really his style anyway either, but that'd be kind of funny. All right, so she gained quite a few followers, which is good. She's gonna go to bed. Hopefully she doesn't sleep till like 4 p.m. again, but you know, she is a gamer girl. So her sleep schedule is gonna be a little wonky. And it's officially summer and Rose is up first. Honestly, I think I might like look into switching up Rose's hair. I think she's just been rocking these little space buns for a minute and I wanna see if there's maybe something I like better. Okay, girly girl. So here's her every day. Honestly, I really kind of like this. I think this one might be good. I also like this one as a bit of a wave. I could also see her like straightening her hair during high school and then letting it be more wavy when she moves and like becomes more of herself. But I do think for now, now, maybe she would be straightening it more. I think I'm gonna lean towards this one. I think this one's really pretty awesome. And then I think I'm gonna give her like a second everyday outfit just for fun. Okay, it's summer. I like that. That's cute. We'll do that and we'll do kind of like a long skirt, like kind of more of like a peasanty look. Since we just changed her aunt out of this outfit,
outfit. It would be so cute if we put her into this outfit, but made it pink. And then <laughs> it was just Aunt Violet hand-me-down. I don't know why I find that so cute that I have to do this. I'm obsessed. I love this. So she now has a second outfit and I'm gonna change up Briar's hot weather look, mostly because like, I just don't think this is her anymore. Okay, cool. So this is hot weather Briar now. It's kind of similar to her look in her everyday look, but I like that it looks similar. I'm kind of over the robe too. So maybe we'll give her something just like a little bit more fun. That's cute. Briar's like a little bit older. She's not wearing the robe anymore. She's wearing this kind of hot pink silken little 90s. She's dating. She might be like exploring her womanhood a little bit more. Okay, so we got some new outfits going to bed at 9 a.m. And we got, of course, Rose's new hairstyle. Dad is still asleep from work. He was exhausted. Very tired man. Poor guy. Such a good student. How are my girls doing on their grades, by the way? Okay, A student and A student. Two A students right here. Oh, we got some more 20 simulators royalties. I love that she just gets like a 20 simoleons. Like people are still reading her book. She just doesn't like think about it. Well, let's see if like we have any new pen pals and then we might do some meditating. Okay, Rose has completed her homework and she's unlocked the people proven life file. What? She's a people person and she has single and loving it in progress. I don't think that's her thing. And sedentary. That does make sense. Hungry for love. Oh, I want her to get that one. Engage in romantic media or attempt to romance other sims. Oh, she got got a new one from Moonlight Falls. Okay, we have Riverview, Midnight Hollow, Bridgeport. So we got someone from Moonlight Falls. Sounds romantic. So let's write a letter to Moonlight Falls really fast. We're doing our meditation really quick before we do that. Emotionally mindful. Finding emotional control as a step is a journey. You've taken the first step, but to gain true emotional control requires slow time through various thoughtful activities. So true. Oh, and Violet saying hot tip. There's some great performers playing at the flea market this week. You for a visit. Okay, let's hit up the- oh. I meant to say bring some friends along. I meant to do that instead of just having him go by himself. I thought the girls should come too. And then I- uh... It's fine. I feel like Briar was probably like, I am sleeping. And he's like, you're coming. I'm like, I stayed up until like 8 a.m. He's like, don't do that again. All right, here he is. Let's bring her here and bring Briar here as well. Come on, girls. Oh, he's uncomfortable because of his bed. He's got a sore back from his bed. But our girl is here. Oh, we got a Sim, Tessa, who seems to be missing some CC. I believe I downloaded her at some point, probably for Fox. And then we have Briar, who did not get dressed. As usual, Briar is in her pajamas. I don't know why Briar just never gets dressed, but we'll put her in her hot weather outfit here. Here she goes. All right, and then we need to discuss some latest games. Be like, did you hear about Disney Dream Life Valley? I feel like you might like it, Rose. Let's do our little secret handshake with our sister. Oh, they're doing their secret handshake from afar. And we're gonna check in with Aunt Violet. Oh, ask Aunt Violet about a woohoo. Maybe she's curious because she's writing books about it. She's like, Aunt Violet, have you ever woohooed anyone? And she's like, woohoo, why are you asking me about woohoo? It's Awkward. Oh my gosh. When she's like, I do not want to be talking about this with my niece. Briar, meanwhile, is feeling great. She's like enjoying the view on her own, just chilling. Why don't you call up Johnny, have him come? I'm sure everyone would be down to have Johnny. Oh, someone's calling us. We've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Whitney, why are you calling me? Okay, are you trying to make me jealous? Because it's not working. I don't like you anymore. You should try for the baby with your partner or whatever. We'll do it. Great. Happy for you, Whitney. So we're here at the flea market. Fox is having a little boogie. Oh, I feel like Rose might like these kind of candles. Maybe she'll buy some Lotus. And then we've got a performer over here. Looks like maybe we'll watch the performer. Oh, Briar's going through a face. She's feeling very rebellious. Oh, well, that's probably because she's sneaking her boyfriend into the house when her dad's not home. Rose is getting some food. And Rose purchased those Lotus flowers. So she got some flowers for her room. Oh, Johnny did come. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad Johnny came. Go to hang out with Johnny. Talk about how warm it is out outside. Be like, it's been so hot. Where's Auntie Violet? Violet, where'd you go? She's inside. Ooh, Fox has learned to make banh mi. That's delicious. Oh my gosh. I love how they're flirting and Fox is like, I don't want to, I don't want to do this. And we're going to all watch this performance together. So we're listening to the musician. For some reason, Julia Aoki is scared. Maybe she like recognizes Fox and is afraid of him. Two people died over here. So that's fun. Oh, how 
sweet Johnny's talking with Rose. They'd be like a fun little trio. You know what? Maybe they should become best friends. I see it. I also feel like Johnny's such a sweetheart trying to like chat with Rose and hang out. They're all having such a fun time together. Oh, she's gonna go play basketball. Honestly, go for it, Briar. Why don't you challenge your dad to a hoops competition? Dad and Violet, they used to be real good at athletics. And meanwhile, Rose and Johnny will become besties. Look, they have, they're having a very pleasant, inspiring conversation. That's so cute. Having deep conversations, having inside jokes together. This is so good. Okay, and look at these three. Violet having a nice little athletic moment. Oh no. Trying to cheer up Fox, who is very uncomfortable. Oh, he needs to pee. Well, that would do it. All right, go use the bathroom, my boy, then. Rose is having fun. She had so much fun chatting with Johnny. Oh, they're getting so friendly. I love this. Share ideas. Ooh. Like, I had this idea for a new novel. It's fantasy. It's called A Court of Love and Liars. And he's like, oh, very exciting. Dad's got to go to work. All right. Oh, you're very late. You're like two hours late to work. Shoot. Go to work. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize you were this late to work. I forgot. My apologies, bro. Oh, and look. Rose is starting to play a little basketball, too. All right. Why don't you challenge to a hoops competition? Johnny and Briar. Let's all the teens hang out. We'll shoot some hoops together. Rose is feeling very playful. She had some fun. Briar's a little stinky from the first game. And even Johnny's like, girl, you stink. Oh, Johnny's running away now. Okay, bye, Johnny. He had to go home. Probably his parents called him and were like, Johnny, where are you? All right, girls, why don't you two go home? I feel like it's about that time, but you guys had fun. You hung out together, which is really good. They just got a sentiment. You know what? I've been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories and we'll make many more. I'm sure of it. It was so sweet. I love that, Rose. Dad came home from work. He's just doing okay. Rose is feeling like she's having a blast. So why don't we get you to continue your writing, A Court of Love and Liars, and Briar is uncomfy. You need a shower, queen. Take care of your needs. She is filthy from her two basketball games. Here she goes. She's feeling a lot better now. Oh, Rose must have written a very, very good line in her new book because she's very excited about it. <laughs> so cute. Speaking of things to be excited about, maybe we should check on our pen pals. Yeah, you need to write a letter to Moon Eye Plus. Ooh, she's feeling inspired. Oh, maybe from her little conversation with Johnny about like her book. She's like, oh, I got some new ideas that I want to try. Dad, get out of my way, okay? I got a stream. We're gonna advertise a bit and then probably live stream Crypt Keeper. Dad's having a nice dinner by himself. He's chilling. Got work in eight hours. Ooh, maybe she should go to bed then. She finished off her stream. Ooh, she has 189.79 followers. 0.79 is like a person is like 75% following her. Having more followers lead to higher tips when live streaming. Ooh. I don't think we've gotten any tips while live streaming yet. So I don't even know if she's made any money while live streaming yet, to be honest. But regardless, she's having a good time. Oh my gosh, Rose finished her book. That is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've written four good books out of five. So we just need one more good book. And then she's done. A Court of Love and Liars, the fantasy book. Ooh. All right, it's 1 a.m. It's time for bed. Even though you're feeling super focused. Briar, it is time for you to go to bed too because you got work in the morning. And everyone is asleep. Good job, team. Briar's up early. She's going to go into work for the streaming. And then I think next time we go into work, hopefully Tuesday, we'll just really try to hustle on her and get her skills up here. All right, she's going to work hard. Ooh, it's free rebate day. And Rose starts school in about an hour. Briar got home. She got 86 simoleons done. She did a good job. Good job, Briar. Why don't you get some leftovers? We're going to send everybody alone. I feel like in my mind, they go to like a different school now than they used to. I know I did go to school with them that one time, but it just feels kind of like they might go to a different school, which means that we wouldn't go to that school anymore. Oh, Briar's going to high school. Girl, you got to go to high school too. You're going to be late, Rose. I didn't realize Briar left without her. She's super sad. Oh, poor baby. You're both going to try to make friends at school today. You're going to prioritize friendship. And dad has worked in seven hours. I'm so curious if the date went well for Aunt Violet. He's thinking about her too. <gasps> we were both thinking about her at the same time. Briar met Tate while at school. Interesting. Briar was discovered playing games on her phone when she should have been playing a digital legend. Briar! Okay. Typical. Sounds like a boring class. I have a feeling he would say that. Briar's manners fell out of the range to get into the good manners trait. 
great. That's okay. I think that's funny. While leaving the bathroom, Rose notices that her chief academic rival has left her notebook sitting on the sink. It's got notes, homework, and lots of other important information inside. Should Rose return it to its owner or just toss it in the trash? Oh, she would 100% return it. The rival suspiciously takes the notebook, but then blames Rose for stealing it in the first place. Now she has to explain why she was just trying to do a good deed. Yeesh. That sounds about right. And apparently Briar has met Chaz while at school. Ooh, Rose is angry. She's like, ungrateful rival. She's like, guess the reward for gooing a good deed. Poor girl. Ooh, and he's take the garbage out to the dumpster in the back of the lot. Nothing to see here, everyone. Who's this guy or a girl? Giovanna Joyce. Let's do a little introduction to Giovanna. He wants to make another sim angry. He could make her angry. We'll see. Talk about the hot temperature. Wait, how are they already so friendly? I bet she really liked him because he's so polite. Nothing tying me down. Oh, they just hugged. That is so random. Ooh, mail's been delivered. Rose is going to be thrilled. Oh, we have bills. Maybe that's not what I had in mind. All right, let's go check the mail, I guess. Get the mail, pay the bills, save the world. Ooh, buy curio items? That sounds kind of fun, though. I'm going to come back. He collected everything from the mailbox. What was in the mailbox? <laughs> Her little Haven postcard. Oh my gosh, our daughter's gonna be so pumped. And Rose met Samantha while at school. Okay, Rose met a friend. That's good. Okay, I definitely wanna see, ooh, a spy bug. Can we plant it on other Sims? Once planted, purchase a listening device from the catalog to listen in on the bug Sim. Oh, I totally could see him buying a spy bug though. Untold Mysteries of Strangerville. Let's not buy that. I bet he'd wanna read up on where they're living. Thank you for shopping at Curios Creations and more, where no one has ever asked me what the more is, but anywho, Enjoy your new items. Violet's calling! Marcus Ham is such a sweetheart. I'm in love. What? And he's so excited. He's like, call me Cupid. Oh my gosh, let's go visit her. She's in love with Marcus. I want to know who Marcus Ham is. I think we're going to go visit the cemetery, actually, because I have a few of those gravestones in my inventory that I haven't placed down. So I need to come down and place our graves. I think some of you have asked about it a couple weeks ago. So right now we have Rover, Kikiru, and Summer. So then we'll put down Amethyst, Theo, and Flame. Our sweet baby angel flame but the graveyard's doing well you know we're here Maybe we will read some epitaphs you know go enjoy our nice day at the graveyard we might invite violet to come hang out with us here want to ask her about mr ham marcus ham there's a sister oh my gosh ask about her love life be like sis what's going on what's the 411 it must be going pretty well oh she seemed to be positive about it we gave her a residence key but she never seems to come over oh they are so cute share some photos of the the girls. I know she just saw them, but it'll still be kind of cute. He's like, here's the girls. She's cracking up about something that one of them did. Bring up an embarrassing childhood moment. Like, remember when you did that one really embarrassing thing, Violet? It's very funny. She's like, oh yeah, I remember. That was embarrassing. Oh, the girls are back home and we've got an hour until work. So we're gonna go home, but it was good catching up, checking out the family graveyard. I mean, I only have like two generations in here out of the seven, which is not a great track record. All right, Fantastic, we are home. Girls are home. Rose, did you make any new friends? She's feeling pretty good. Watch like a romance. Seems to make her happy. How's Briar? Briar's doing great. She needs to do a live stream. So let's have you do a live stream really fast. We'll do the Sims Infinite. And Fox is off to work. Goodbye, Fox. Work hard. Ooh, Rose is feeling so flirty having watched this romantic TV show. She's a little stinky, so she might need a shower, but she enjoys that romantic TV show. Oh wait, I forgot to give her her new postcard. Oh well, we have Little Haven now, so we just need the next one. I think it was Moonlight Falls we want to ask for, and then we should find a new pen pal as well. Ooh, successful stream, Briar gains four followers. And then let's maybe like advertise it. It's 5 p.m., girl. You need to like not keep going to bed at random hours. Ooh, post on the pen pal forums, and Briar gained 12 new followers. Good job, Briar. Okay, Rose, you post on your pen pal forums. Why don't you? Oh, she's hungry. I guess go eat your food, but also... Oh, you could write a romance book. Dude, that's what we want her to do anyway. Go write a romance book. This romance book is called P.S. I'm in love with you. It's not P.S. I love you. It's P.S. I'm in love with you. You know, it's more of a mouthful. Oh, honor amongst thieves. It's just another day at work as an interstellar smuggler. Fox's coworkers are busy loading the spacecraft with plundered simoleons when he receives word over the Discrambler that Space Force is minutes away. Knowing that he'd need to lighten the weight of their ship to quickly escape, he could choose to dump the simoleons and make a rapid getaway.
getaway with his crew, or he could become infamous by leaving his fellow smugglers behind while he escapes with a big haul. What would Fox do? Fox would gain fame and money by escaping with the loot, but if he saved the heist crew, his life will continue to change. Now, normally I actually would consider having him escape with the loot because I think it's funny. However, we can't get famous right now because we're in hiding. So that would be the opposite of what we want to do. So we're going to save the heist crew, but not because he cares about them, okay? I love that they're just gossiping and like giggling together as they both work on their stuff. Rose is loving her romance novel right now. So happy for her. It's going to be her final good book. So then we'll finish the first level of best-selling offer. And Briar is like halfway through level four. So she's crushing it as well. These two girls are hustling. Johnny just became good friends with Rose. That's so cute. Did he text her? Rose, you have you thought about taking a guitar? I think you'd crush it. Aw, thanks, Johnny. That is so fun. I love that they're like buddies now. This makes me very happy because she's so close. You're getting so much closer, Briar. We're at like 66%. Oh my gosh. This is hard, honestly. The entrepreneur skill is kind of hard. If you guys know any better ways of doing it, let me know in the comments. So my gosh, Rose finished her entire book in one sitting. She was so confident and accomplished. And we finished the next level of best-selling author. So now we get to publish 10 books and write five excellent books, which you guys told me to wait it out. So we currently have one, two, three, four, five, six books that we already have ready to go and to publish. I feel like she might still wait to start publishing her books. So maybe we'll like try to write some excellent books instead, but she is a little uncomfy. So we can take a pause. You have been writing all night. She's tried like every different genre and now she's finally found her, the genre that she loves is her romance novels. She's like, this is it, man. I don't want to be a screenwriter. I don't want to be a short story novelist or a children's book writer. I don't want to be a fantasy writer. I want to be a romance novelist. Dad, can you just get home from work so you can give her her new postcard, please? How's Briar doing? Oh my gosh, she's still just hustling. Hustling on this computer. Oh my gosh, all her needs are terrible. All right, this will be the last one. Well, we worked really hard, but we didn't finish anything. And let's take a shower, grab some food. Oh, look, our sister made some food. That's so cute. Let's eat together and compliment her outfit. Be like, I like the new fit. It's looking really cute. Read the word on your side hustles. Tell her about how it's all going and you're streaming and stuff. Oh, she wants to cloud gaze with Catalina. Well, maybe we'll hang out with mom soon. Okay, dad came home and he earned a vacation day. Now we can finally give the postcard to our daughter here to put on her wall. That's a little haven. Boom, baby. That's four. This is gonna take a long time. I don't know. Briar's very tired. Oh my gosh. Okay. It is like midnight. So it is kind of time for the girls to go to bed and everyone to go to bed, to be honest. Got to finish up your food really quick. Wash your dishes. These Sims are clean. They are of a good routine. Oh my gosh. Going to bed at one is just not the move, but it is what it is. She's up till 2 a.m. trying to get ready for bed. Poor girl. And she's gonna pass out. Oh my gosh. Classic gamer girl. Yeah, I mean, I've stayed up way too late playing video games and hustling too. I feel you, girl. I love that her sister's sleeping in bed and she just passed out on the ground. Now she's going to bed properly. Oh, and dad's awake. Why is dad up? Oh, maybe he hates his bed. You know what? He also stinks. Let's have you take a shower and I'm actually gonna improve your bed since we've like gotten quite a bit of simoleons right now. There you go. That one looks very comfortable. Oh, we should check out the little candles that you bought at the thrift store. Oh, look, he got this astro solar system light from work because he's like a spaceman now. I guess we can like include some of this stuff from his new job here. We got some blueprints. Okay. And then we've got this lotus desk like lamp. I don't know where to put it in her room, but it's so cute. I guess you could put them over here. We can move the books to like here. All right. Sure. She put them over there. It looks great. He's sad because of passionless job. Apparently he doesn't like this job either. Why don't you go to sleep though? Okay. Briar's going off to work as usual for the couple hours in the morning that she does. And she's back. Ooh. Briar is back home and earned some money. How long has it been? Briar can't help but wonder if this career is right for her. One thing is for sure there needs to be some kind of change. I think that she's just frustrated about still being a speed runner and not having a promotion. I feel like she deserves a promotion and she knows it and she hasn't done that yet. So she's gonna just like play a game for fun. Oh, no, she's gotta go to school. Maybe she just doesn't like working in the morning. She's more of a night owl anyway. He's thinking about Catalina. He wants to chat with her. All right, let's call her up. Wow, his romance with Catalina and Roman has gone down quite a bit. Looks like he's not that into anyone. He's chatting with Catalina, maybe catching her up on what the girls have been up to. Also, she might not know about the move yet or that 
that they went into hiding. So he kind of waited until it was safe and then he reached out to her. Maybe she could hang out at the lot, spend time with him. Okay, Catalina will be right over. Amazing. I feel like he's going to just ask to be just friends. Let's uh, talk to her about like our fear of our deaded job. Since we're still really close with her, I feel like he could open up about his fears. They just flirted again. I literally just told you guys to not flirt and then he started flirting. I am not doing this. Catalina is fully flirting with Fox and I asked him not to. Whatever. Apparently their chemistry is undeniable. Oh my God, they keep flirting. <gasps> what is happening? I literally had them cool off their relationship. You guys saw it. it said Fox and Catalina have decided to cool off their romantic relationship and now they're right back to it, flirting. And now he's gonna be mean to her for no reason because he wants to be mean to someone, but oh my gosh, it's fine. I thought we were just gonna hang out with Catalina and just be friends. Sorry, oh, he's thinking about Slate. I'm just so curious if they'll start flirting again. No, it seems like he's just eating now. Maybe the flirting was just for fun on her side. Whitney is asking if she should have a baby again. We literally told you already you should have a baby, Whitney. I do not know why Whitney keeps asking us. We're not married. Stop trying to make me jealous. And oh my gosh, Briar and Rose are home from school. They're both on their phones and they're doing awesome. I'm gonna leave this one here, but next time I think we'll get Briar her promotion and we'll make sure that Rose completes the next level of the best-selling author aspiration. And I don't know, what do you guys think? Is there something between their mom and dad still? Like are Catalina Fox still a thing? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.